How are we all doing? I hope everyone is keeping well out there at the minute. The weather's been wonderful here for the last week or so. It was 24 degrees here yesterday and about 22 the day before that. Clear blue skies all day. But today things have taken a turn for the worst. And um, it's like a bloody hurricane out there at the minute. I haven't seen wind like in a long time. It's um, showery rain as well, quite heavy at times. So there's been a break in the weather now, but um, so I haven't been doing much in the workshop with the good weather. I've been doing a bit in the garden, um, cutting down trees and stuff like that. And I was trying to tidy the place up a little bit. But I just thought I'd make a quick video anyway. And I didn't know what to make a video on quick. But I was given this the other day. So I thought we'd have a quick look at this. And it's a ferrograph um, ATU1, auxiliary test unit number one. And this goes with... Um, Ferrograph RTS2, which is um, an audio oscillator, a distortion meter, and an output meter, and a few other things rolled into one. And I would sit on top of this. Um, this basically has an attenuator in it and loading for the output meter, and um, it has an amplifier in it. And it actually sounds quite good. So, uh, I've no real use for it, but I'm going to put it up here and I'm going to just use it as a, an amplifier. So, I thought we'd just have a quick look. I'll open it up and we, we can have a squint inside it. And then uh, I'll, turn a, I'll, I'll run a bit of audio into it and you can hear it in action. So, I'll bring the camera in anyway. I'll just pop the back off it. Um, it needs to be tidied up a bit. It was in a, sitting in a shed for a while, so it's a little bit uh, grubby. But, uh, quite, a, quite overall now, it's in quite nice uh, cosmetic condition. A few rubs on the top of course, probably from where the other thing was sitting on top of it. But um, yeah, it's quite nice. A nice nick. That should tidy up really well. So, anyway. And pop the back off or the top off and take the top lid off. There's those two uh, knurled screws here to hold the, the top on. So I'll pop them off. Yeah, big torn in the weather. Now, funny enough, the sun has just come out there outside now. But, um, some serious wind and uh, I've no broadband either at the minute. Uh, someone knocked over the pole yesterday at the end of the road with a tractor. So, uh, I've no broadband and I reckon it's going to be sort of the middle to the end of next week before it's fixed. Which uh, isn't good, but these things happen. Luckily enough, we've got good internet, uh, good mobile connection here. So, as you can see, it has a, quite a nice speaker in it. Um, I suppose it must be a 4x7, well 4x6 I'd say, speaker. Um, you can't really see much here. I, I don't even want to get it too involved in stripping it down, but as you can see, there's nice fiberglass boards in it. Nice heat sinks there on the output transistors. You know, it's well, anything with ferrograph on it anyway just means quality, and, and it certainly quality is what you got here. I wouldn't like to imagine how much this thing cost new. I imagine it was quite expensive. So, I'll be in the light so we can get a good look in there. As you can see, the, the boards are cards which can be plugged in and out, held down with this quite substantial strip of aluminium. So, yeah, really well made piece of kit. So I wouldn't like to be uh, paying for this when it was new. That was nice blue axial uh, Phillips capacitors as well. Which uh, give little trouble overall. But certainly it's something like this anyway. And um, yeah, so that's it. Um, no date on it but it's I would presume late 60s, early 70s.
a nice bit of kit. So as I say, I'll probably just use it as a probably just use it as um, an audio generator or a what am I saying an amplifier uh, the only use I really have for it unless I get the other bit of kit to go as well but I don't do them too much with tape machines to be honest but, uh, it's certainly a piece of kit that's too good to throw out for sure I mean it's so well made. Anyway, we'll run a bit of audio into it and uh, see how she sounds. So I hope everyone is keeping well out there at the minute. Just for reference, uh, this isn't going to look great now on the phone, but I'll try. That is a, a picture of the. Uh, RTS 2 sitting on top of one of these So that's what, what it would look like in this natural environment Okay, so we'll listen to this now um, So I think what I'm going to do is, I think everyone's getting a bit sick of me changing one resistor at a time, so <laughs> I'm just going to change all the resistors yeah. around the um, frame hole, high control, um, maybe have a look at a few. Now I've been listening to a bit of Rory Gallagher or what have you through this and it actually sounds really good, so it's, it's, I was surprised. And it has a, a 1k filter as well, audio filter. Audio filter. Which, you know, I suppose, for, if you were listening to CW or something, it could be handy to have that 1K filter. You could run it through it. And then it has the loading here, you know, for 8 pound loading, 600 or a 10K. Just leave it unloaded. So that's the machine. You have two inputs and two outputs here as well. It's so obviously for switching, setting up either the left or right hand channel on your uh, tape layer. So that's it. Nothing too wild or exciting here. That's the ferrograph anyway. So I'm going to stick it up on the shelf with some of the other stuff. And uh, I might use it from time to time. So as I say, I hope everyone is keeping well out there. That's just what I'm amusing myself with now. And... Um, <coughs> Hopefully normal service will be uh, resumed shortly. <coughs> Excuse me. But um, should we carry on for now anyway? And uh, hope you get another video out in a couple of days and something a bit more interesting. Anyway, mind ourselves out there, and uh, I'll talk to you all again very soon. All the best for now. Good luck.